Well, using the Konica Minolta Biz Hub Swing Vision Camera, good flex in his legs. We're just going to focus on the lower half of the body. And, you know, he's had some issues with his left knee, unable to straighten the left knee quite as much as he would like to, favoring the left knee, obviously, until it's fully recovered. Good position, worked off the right heel nicely. He used to pick it up very, very quickly, but he stayed on the inside of his right foot, cleared his left leg much, much better. Let's check out the, the little chip shot from the side of the green. Very important to get the weight on the left foot. You know, lead with the, with the back of the left hand, or even your last you know, your three fingers of your left hand. Keep it nice, keep the grip nice and light. Some professionals would even kind of let go of the grip to get an even softer touch on the ball. No golden rules about chipping, you just go and practice it. You experiment. Play the ball off your left toe, play the ball off your right toe, and you're today. Let's look at some changes I see in Tiger Woods golf swing using the Konica Minolta Biz Hub Swing Vision Camera. First thing I noticed, his aim is much better. He used to be aiming a little bit more left than this the last time we saw him. Secondarily, as he takes the club back, he does a great job of keeping his head level. Look at the visor on his cap. It stays perfectly pointing to the golf ball. And then as he changes directions, he'll drop down a little bit, but he stays much taller than he was a few weeks ago. This means the change of directions is much, much better. Now a close-up of that change of directions. Please take note of the bill of his cap. It stays right there. The left arm is a little bit higher in the golf swing as well, but as he starts back down in the downswing, he doesn't let his head tilt to the right and fall back. That's what was getting him too much from the inside. The net result of that improved change of directions as he comes back to impact, the hands and arms are well in front of his body, the head is up, and look at the head position, the same as it was at a dress. So by keeping his head steadier, by keeping it taller and not getting shorter in the downswing, Tiger Woods' driving accuracy has improved unbelievably. And that swing has looked fantastic. Sometimes that dip. Shortest shot, if you will, by five, par five standards coming in. Here you go, Nick. Yeah, let's have a look from Tiger from uh, the top half using the Konica Minolta Biz Hub swing vision camera. Big turn. He's got massive, strong forearms, lats, rotator cuffs. Cranks it all the way around, and now he unwinds. Watch the waist come through. See when the belt buckle comes through, and this is very important. When he stays level, gives him a much better chance to clear. And look at that, how he rotates those forearms over. That one was pure, Jack. He got everything in sync there, don't you think? I thought his swing was great. I mean, he's, he's made a big change in his swing from last year. Last year, he was riding very high with his right hip. And but he's going to elect to go hard with the three iron, put it up in the air. Slightly back into the breeze. And we certainly went hard at it. Well, that's like a wonderful it. line. Great shot. Stay on the surface and just feed down there off the collar. That was a great shot. Better to be long there. Well, he's 10 under par on the par fives this week and 10 under total. You look at this, most eagles on par fives at the Memorial since 92, 12 for Tiger Woods. And this is intensity. Watch this. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. 